Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Today I'm going to show you how to create the dispersion effect um, that's going around. Lots of people are using portrait photos of people um, with dresses or anything. I'm going to do, do it a little bit different and use a car. Um, this one Audi R8. I got it from freepngimage.com. Okay, so I've got it just over here. It's as a PNG image and I'm going to just copy it onto my blank layer. If you have a background on your image, you just want to select it and remove your background layer and put it on a new blank layer. Okay, I'm going to create it to a smart object because I'm just going to resize it. Um, I'm going to hold down shift and increase the size so it keeps proportions. And I'm just going to move it along to the left just because we're going to make the the liquefy effect coming out this side okay so i've got one copy there um, i want to press ctrl and j just to create another copy the top copy we want to have a white layer mask and the bottom copy we want to have a black layer mask so i'm going to hold down alt and hit the layer mask button just over there Okay, so they, they cancel out each other, so it's still the same image. And on the bottom layer, we want to create the liquify effect. So make sure you have the actual image selected just over there. And you want to go up to Filter and Liquify. Just going to let it start up. There we go. Okay, and you want your forward warp tool selected. Um, just so you can move it all about and let's just start pulling it around just like that you want to try and keep the lines lined up to each other um, obviously coming down here i'm just going to pull the tire down um, just keep stretching it along until you think you've got what you want um, however much dispersion you want really i'm just going to do it just like this i'm not going to overdo it this time around uh, that seems about right. Okay, I'm just going to hit OK and that will put it on the bottom layer for me. As you can see, let's just hold down Control. Oops. Shift. So I'm going to close that layer mask, hide it so you can see the liquify effect just over there. And I hold down Shift and clicked on the layer mask itself. Okay, so on the white layer mask, what we want to do, we basically want to get rid of the effect that goes around the car so it doesn't look hard um, I'm going to go press B for my brush tool and I'm going to go up to my brush properties nope I'm going to select what brush I want sorry about that I'll go to the properties in a minute um, I've downloaded some splatter brushes from brushes brusheasy.com I'll put the link in the description below and that's the one I'm going to be using just over here. You don't want one where the inside of the the brush is too solid um, because it's quite noticeable when you do things like this. So I'm just going to decrease the size quite a bit and I'll just show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so we want the layer mask selected and we have the white layer mask selected. So we want to brush in black. So if you push D and X that will bring the brush to the, the black to the foreground color and I'm just going to hold it and brush away the hard edges just like that don't worry if it goes around here um, we're going to sort that out in a minute okay so that's that part done let's just do the tires just a little bit over there and the shadow okay and now we want to go to our liquid liquefied layer and we want to have the, the black mask selected and you just want to push X to make white the foreground because we are doing it on the black layer. Now you want to go to your brush properties um, and you want to do the scattering um, sorry about this, the shape dynamic, sorry, angle you want to do it so it's, it's not all the same really um, you want to just make it so it jitters really so flipping flipping y flipping x so it's all different proportions when you do actually click the buttons 
Okay, so that's under Shape Dynamics. Okay, so we can close that. Make sure you have your black layer selected with white as your foreground color. And if you want, just increase the size a bit and just dot your brush around for the scatter effect. And it's up to you if you want to use the scatter brush. I, I quite like it. Um, it's quite helpful. I was going to create separate brushes for you. Um, but I think going into brush properties and just adjusting scatter brushes like this. You can even do it with smoke. Um, if you want me to do a smoke brush uh, dispersion effect, please let me know and I will create one for you. And this is as simple as that. And just like that, you have your Audi R8 in a dispersion effect. Okay, and now let's just tidy up this little bit. So we want to go back to our brushes. You want to get the normal brush, which is the round flat sided. And we've got the black layer selected with the white foreground. We're just going to brush those. Oops, too far there, sorry. Brush around here where we don't want the splatter to be coming out. Okay, sorry I went too far up there. I should be using it on a different layer mask. Okay, I'm going to just keep it like that. And there we go. Okay, so that's it. That's as easy as that. You can do it on cars, you can do it on fruit, you can do it on people, anything you want really. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I have more to come. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.